In today's video, I've got five facts about Rishia Ivy Red from the series The Rising of the Shield Hero slash a character analysis video. But hey, if you're new here, why not join the 414 community by hitting the subscribe button and the notification bell so you don't miss a video. And a quick warning that this video will contain spoilers, so just a heads up. But with that being said, let's roll intro and get straight into the video. <laughs> Risha, also mainly known as Lesia in the anime, is the very latest addition to the shield hero Naofumi Iwatani's party. She made her debut in episode 21 of the anime, Naofumi's Triumphant Return, and chapter 33 of the manga, Meeting of the Heroes. She is a female human and currently 17 years of age. She has the appearance of a young girl with her very petite figure. She has yellowy green eyes and long green hair worn in twin braids with ribbons. Attire wise, she wears a long tunic like dress that to me is a similar colour scheme to Kazuma's cape from Konosuba, with what looks like a creamy white bodysuit underneath and brown gloves. On top of this, she wears an armour breastplate and more armour on both shoulders. Now, from the light novel, she wore attire similar to this but without the armour and she also wore a green cape with a red jewel as its button. And also I'll go into her personality in just a second but this girl is very shy. Because of this she has been seen wearing animal costumes to hide herself. Animals such as a squirrel, a penguin and also a falolo. Strange but cute, very cute. Just a quick side note from today's video, I want to let you all know that I've partnered with Amino and I'm now creating stories over on the Amino app and you know, I could not be more hyped for this. The story feature is awesome. Creators just like me are creating short stories showcasing all their amazing anime and manga content all for you to see. So like I just mentioned, I am on the platform. So, you know, let's take a quick look at my profile and stories. We just search up, there it is already on there, but we'll, pi we'll type it in for the fun. For one for anime and we hit the search thing we search on topics there I am so 26 stories 11 followers uh, awesome sauce a uh, bit of Kurumi action there so here's my profile and here are all my stories I've made thus far so I do like figure reviews I got clips from my fact videos that you'll get earlier than on YouTube and just all this fun stuff it's super super awesome so head over to Amino now. The link is in the description below and in the comments. Just like here on YouTube, every time you watch a video, you're supporting the channel. The exact same thing applies over there. Every story you watch will support me. I'm super special, awesome excited about this new feature and look forward to you joining me over on Amino. Peace. Personality wise, like previously mentioned, Rishia is very, very shy. Though she carries the shy and general being clumsy trait, she is extremely devoted and will push herself to no ends in order to be seen as a useful party member. Now, this all stems from her backstory from her time spent in Itsuki's party, which I will go into shortly, but this bad experience led her to being absolutely devastated as she was cast away by Itsuki himself for something she didn't even do. You know, she was that hurt to the point that she constantly wept, believing that she was nothing but a burden to him, to which, you know, she actually ended up running into the sea to try and end her own life. I know, dark stuff. Uh, this combined with the belief that Naofumi will eventually have in her certainly does aid in her character's growth. Though she is now in Naofumi's party, she will always hold this love and admiration for Itsuki, and this will act as her cause for getting stronger. You know, so that even though she is part of the Shield Heroes party, she will always be able to help Itsuki in some way. Meh. Now, this girl is definitely more worth than she gives herself credit for. Before even joining Naofumi's party, she was a huge help in the battle against Glass as she deployed the barrels of liqueur. I think liqueur? Well, that might be right, who knows. This is basically a fruit that renders people weakened and or unconscious. I know, awesome. Her change is also something worth mentioning. She goes from this shy, clumsy girl with zero self-confidence to someone who acts boldly in tight situations, speaks her mind with confidence, not holding back on things she strongly believes in and a great asset to Naofumi's party during combat. However, after these battles she will revert to the shy and clumsy side of her personality. Hopefully we'll get a season 2 to see her character more. So Rishia technically comes from a noble family, though it was a noble family that was struggling financially. As an example, instead of a mansion, this family lived in a farmhouse. 
hard times. So now Fumi believes that Rishia actually studied at the same school as Malti slash bitch, but because of her family's financial struggles, Rishia had to unfortunately drop out, which was a shame because aside from gym, Rishia was academically awesome at the other subjects she studied due to the grades she was getting. So her family were in charge of a small town, one of those towns that were poor but lived happily in peace. However, a neighbouring town ruled by a very rotten noble would begin to steal what little funds the ivory red family had and their crops fields and buildings were demolished as theft by merchants in the night became a common occurrence which ended up with much needed merchants and tradesmen avoiding their town altogether on their travels so the nobleman from the neighboring village did offer them protection but asked for Rishia in return as a form of payment to which of course the ivory red family strongly declined soon all the theft and damage increased and though they asked for you know no help from a guild a party of adventurers came to their aid one night and then a bill from the guild followed. Eventually Rishio was taken away from them by force by the asshole nobleman and gave the family some funds to pay the guild bill and gave them bodyguards to help improve their situation. So it turns out that these bodyguards were actually the ones responsible for the theft and damage in the first place and that the request had been sent to the guild by this nobleman in the ivory red family name. Though all the evidence was erased, of course. Luckily that night, Itsuki and his party were investigating this evil noble and found out about Rishia and his bad deeds, thus putting them to an end and saved Rishia from her enslavement. She was forever indebted to the bow hero and to show how grateful she was, she ended up joining his party, though she would end up being played down, having her weaknesses pointed out and her strengths ignored and was basically solely used as an errand girl who would carry food and supplies. Basically, she was treated as if she was useless. Now, in terms of Rishia's power and ability, stat-wise, she was what they call a late bloomer, mainly down to the way that until she joined Naofumi's party, she was underutilized. Her base stats were originally really low, but under Naofumi's guidance and the experience she gained from the quests that they took, she skyrocketed and her stats eventually matched that of Velo's. Her weaknesses are in close combat, but unfortunately when choosing her class skills, she chose combat to help Itsugi. As previously mentioned, he ignored her strengths and failed to help guide her to a class set that was better suited for her, thus making her even clumsier when it came to combat. Now, where she excels is in magic. She can use all sorts of magic and when used correctly, Rishia is very resourceful. She can use elemental magic, such as fire, water, earth, and wind magic. Controlling this many elemental magic types is hard to control, but Rishia is a rare person capable of such feats, as she has the magic attributes necessary to achieve this. She, though clumsy, can wield a sword. This combined with her ability to use magic and cast healing spells makes her an amazing person to have in your party. Itsuki is nothing short of a dumbass. For this final fact, I was going to talk about the relationship that she holds with Itsuki and Naofumi, but as I read on, I found this pretty funny, so I will share a brief overview of her relationships with each legendary hero. So, first off, Itsuki. Rishia is pretty much in love with him, as she holds a great debt to him and his party for saving her life. Though she is treated horribly in his party, she will do anything, even now, to become as strong as possible, just that she can be of some use to him. She played a part in the way at Kalmira that ended up meaning she played a bigger part in its success than Itsuki, thus making him look useless in comparison. Itsuki didn't take kindly to this, of course, and ended up kicking her out because she received more praise from the queen than he did. This leads us to her relationship with Naofumi. Naofumi relates to the treatment she received and was now fuming at Itsuki for treating Rishia this way, especially after he acknowledged how important her role in the wave was, thus taking her under his wing. And of course, Rishia doesn't view Naofumi the same way the majority of this world does and knows that he is a good person. She was a bit nervous and even scared of him at first because of how he comes across, but was very surprised when she discovered his true personality. She even defends Naofumi against Itsuki when in later events, Itsuki brands Naofumi as evil. Next up, Motoyasu. You know exactly where I'm going with their relationship. Motoyasu sees that she is a girl and instantly begins to flirt with her. Though Rishia sees this this as an act of kindness. Though when he does catch her crying, Motoyasu freaks out and pushes her and the issue onto Naofumi. Finally, her relationship with the sword hero Ren. This is the one that made me laugh. 
Yeah, Ren is or was completely unaware of her existence. Poor Rishia. But thanks for watching this my video. Five facts about Rishia Ivy Red from the series The Rising of the Shield Hero. I hope you enjoyed the video and if you'd like to see more characters from this series, of course, let me know in the comments. And I just want to say a quick shout out to my 414 Elite Patreons. That in Tom, Jamie, Emma, Autumn, Joshua and Carr. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much for supporting me. If you're interested in what rewards I have to offer on my Patreon, the link is in the description. But also don't forget to smash the like button if you enjoyed this video as it really does help these videos reach a wider audience and subscribe for more anime content. Till next time, my fellow weebs. Peace.